Fernando Mendoza. Hard not to be excited for this guy. The Cal position group, they've been looking for more production out of that room. Mendoza's been hanging around this competition throughout spring, throughout fall camp, and he's been waiting in the wings through five games this season, finally going to get the nod tonight. I grew up in Miami, Florida, so across the nation. I played a, a variety of sports. I fell in love with football around probably around third or fourth grade. Throughout my entire high school, middle school career, I always aspired to play college football. I wanted to play college football and I wanted to make it to the NFL, and those are my two main goals. I wasn't heavily recruited. I knew that I was going to do those two things. Cal really came up really late in my recruitment process. Right from the jump, when I got off the airport and I saw the coaches in the car and I had the entire Cal official experience, I knew that this was a place for me and it felt like home. Really cool story. Was a uh, under-recruited guy. Gets his opportunity to sign late with the Bears. He's gonna have to settle in here quickly. You go through fall camp with those guys, very heated competition. You know, I talk with Coach Wilcox after every single practice and we had thought that one day Fernando was gonna be a starter, the next day Sam was gonna be a starter, and then the next day it was gonna be Dan as the starter. My mentality as a competitor from day one was I was the best quarterback out there, and those other guys are really talented and really good quarterback. I need to compete every single day and bring it and energize my teammates along as helping the team move the ball. We were seeing some of the talent from Mendoza on display. And throughout spring and summer and fall camp, we essentially had an ongoing quarterback competition. And at the end of that, I was deemed third string quarterback and was always told to stay ready. However, never got any playing time until the Oregon State week. And I was, I mean, I was exhilarated. Some breaking news for the Cal Golden Bears. Their redshirt freshman, Fernando Mendoza, makes his first career start tonight. We felt like we needed a spark. We felt like that the offense uh, would rally around a guy like Fernando, and uh, we put him in the Oregon State game, and you know the rest was kind of history. Third and goal, he escapes. Mendoza flips. Avance has the touchdown. Nine yards, and the freshman's first as a bear. The thing that maybe uh, I was most impressed with is how quickly he got into the rhythm of the game. I mean, probably by the second series, I remember him coming off the field and of course he's excited and positive and he's high-fiving everybody. But the way he was talking about the game, you know, I saw this, I saw that, here's what they did. And be, to be able to regurgitate that on the second or third series of your first start as a freshman, that to me was like, okay, he, he can do this. I think it's about, you know, the work ethic and showing up and, and showing that he's prepared and ready for the moment. You know, and that's, and that's something being said for an inexperienced QB. The more he plays, the more he practices, the more he experiences, uh, the game's gonna just seem cleaner and cleaner for him. Mendoza could run for office right now. He could be the mayor of Berkeley tomorrow. So around each day, I'll wake up around 5.30, in which I head to the facility, I walk to the facility, and I grab breakfast, and then the quarterbacks, the Coach Bav, or I'll meet with Coach Bav, or watch film independently going to practice. Under Irene, under Irene. Guys, bump, guys, bump, guys, bump, guys, bump. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll hit a lift, whether it's a lift day or not. I'll do some extra core work, as I believe core is really important for the quarterback and how they generate power. And then Coach Bab and I will watch practice. We look at it here, right? so we got Uzi. There's a couple things that we want to get to. You got, you got three by one open early Uzi. So one thing about Cal is that it's a really rigorous academic schedule and it is the number one public university in the nation for a reason. And luckily I was admitted to the business school here, Haas, so that's been a treat for myself. And I'll go to class about for the three hour regimen I have in the, in the afternoon. I'll watch some film and then I'll go home, do some homework and probably head to sleep around 10, 10.30 and then get ready for the next day. And it is essentially two full-time jobs and it does put a lot of stress on you. However, my whole idea on philosophy is, is the more stress you have on yourself, whether it's academically, athletically, or just in your social life or personally, then that's a stronger it makes you. At the end of the day, I'm a competitor and there's something that's, such as football and academically that the more time you put into it, the better you'll be. Oh yeah, baby, let's go, baby. Hey, let's have a great day. Bring some energy, baby. Beat USC on three. One, two, three. Beat USC. Jensen, bye week, oh, triple, triple crown. 
at the end of the day, you can see visibly on the field whether the team wants to play for the quarterback or if they don't. And I believe that has to do a lot with the success of the team. The leader I try to be is I try to be encouraging. I, I try to help everybody, especially from my own knowledge and, and my other thing, I like to lead by example. This kid's preparation is, is at such a high level. I've been very fortunate over the years to coach a lot of good quarterbacks. All these plays and all these practices, these are just moments and opportunities for him to learn. And I think he really takes that to heart. And so as long as he continues to do that, I think uh, the future is bright for him. Utah brings a blitz. Mendoza hit as he throws and touchdown, California. If you think the energy that I'm talking about from Mendoza is contagious. I just try to maximize my efforts on the field so we could have team success. That's pretty crazy how everything works. Going from third string to first string and now here doing the day in the life of the Pac-12.